I mean, you can use it in the arm. Uh, yeah. Our vascular surgeons use it. So I, you know, our vascular surgeons are using it. The nurses feel so much better. And then we can, you know, in the ICU, in the patients, they can't, you know, are, are intubated, sedated and drugged. They feel a lot better. Uh, and also our trauma team uh, is uh, on board. And actually, that's how I got it in the hospital by including our trauma team on it, you know, because everyone has different, you know, they would call us nonstop. Oh, I think this guy's compartment, you know, like with things that aren't true. Uh, his CKs are going up. He has compartment syndrome. That's how you diagnose. I'm like, no, that's not how you diagnose it. <laughs> I think one thing this device has really been helpful is actually decreasing the number of fasciotomies people do because sure. the fear is always when in doubt, do a fasciotomy. This device helps you not be in doubt. So you can be comfortable in the fact that they don't have a compartment syndrome and you don't have to do a fasciotomy. Fasciotomies have risks of, you know, infection. Oh, so if yeah. you can prevent it from happening. I think that's where it's helpful, not diagnosing when it's there, but also diagnosing it when it's not there so that everyone can relax and patient doesn't get a fasciotomy. It avoids, it avoids a fasciotomy, but the other thing that the benefit is you can find it earlier. If there is a compartment syndrome, right. I mean, the, you know, you find it earlier and then, then they don't have the residual symptoms that come with uh, delayed diagnosis. Yeah.